This tutorial will show you two different ways to reverse a string in JavaScript. Here we have a string with a value hello. We're going to call split method on this string variable. We're going to pass empty quotes, which means that this string will be split by empty space. The split method returns an array, so we have to assign it back to the s variable. So let's assign it back to the s variable. And I'm going to print out what we have so far to the console in Chrome. Let's take a look. As you can see, our string got split into an array with five different values. The reason we've done that is because only the array object has the reverse method on it. Strings don't have a reverse method. Now that this string is an array, we can call the reverse method on it. And it will reverse array's values. So let's go ahead and do that. Now I'm going to refresh the browser to see the output now. And you will see that we reversed the order of items in the array. Now what we want to do is join it back into a string. And array has a method called join. And we're going to run it with the same double quotes, which is an empty character. And it's going to stitch back together this array into a string after reversing it. So as you can see, I actually printed it out on the console right now. You see that hello has been reversed and put back together into a string. Now you can take all these methods and do everything on one line by using the dot operator. And so just doing this will reverse the string exactly in the same way. Now, this is probably what you want to do in most cases, but there's another way of reversing a string. It's a little more of a brute force a way, and it's done by creating your own for loop. So we're going to take a look at that in the next example. So now we have a JavaScript string here. Let's reverse that by writing our own for loop. We don't have the luxury of reverse and join here, so we're going to start by creating a new variable that will contain our result and store that in an end variable. So here I'm starting a for loop and it's going to run for the length of the original string minus one, which means we're going to start with the last character. And basically the for loop is going to step the string backwards from the last character. It's going to keep going until we reach the first character. So again, this for loop is going to step through each character backwards. And as we're doing that, we want to store each character separately back into our n variable. So here, i minus minus means we're going to go backwards from the last character. And we're going to take the n variable and store each character at every single index that we encounter. So this is done by doing this. And pretty much this will do it. So let's go ahead and print this out on console. Our result will be stored in the n variable. So as you can see, we reversed a string in JavaScript.